Hey guys, this is me Padma from Programmies and welcome back to this series on C programming. In this video, we'll learn about while loop to repeat a block of code for multiple times. We'll also learn about do while loop in C. So let's get started. In programming, loops are used to repeat a block of code a certain number of times. Suppose we want to show a particular message 100 times. Instead of writing the same message 100 times, we can write the message once and use the loop to display the message 100 times. Let's start with the syntax of while loop. A while loop starts with the while keyword followed by the condition inside the parenthesis. Here the condition is a boolean expression that returns either true or false. If the condition is true, then the statement inside the while loop are executed. Then the condition is evaluated again. And if the condition is true again, then the statement inside the while loop is executed. This process continues and the while loop is executed on and on until the test condition becomes false. If the condition is false, then the while loop is terminated and the body of the loop is skipped. Let's see an example. I'll remove this old code and by now you must be familiar with the basic structure of C program. So I'll write the basic structure of C program here. Now you can see the basic structure of C program. Now I'll create the while loop with the condition 1 is less than 5. And inside the while loop, I'll print the message while loop in C. So here the condition 1 is less than 5 is true. So the statement inside the while loop will be executed. Then the condition 1 is less than 5 is checked again. This time as well the condition is true. So the statement inside the loop will be executed again. Here 1 is always less than 5, so the condition is never false. Hence the while loop will be executed infinitely until the memory runs out. This is called an infinite while loop. Now let's run this code. So you can see the statement while loop in C is printed until the memory runs out. And to avoid this infinite while loop, we need to make sure that our condition becomes false at some point. So I'll create an invariable count and assign value 1 to this. Now in the condition instead of 1 I'll write here count. So the condition becomes count is less than 5. And inside the while loop I'll increase the value of count by 1. So count equals to count plus 1. So this value of count will increase in each iteration. Now this line of code increases the value of count in each iteration and ultimately the value of count becomes 5. So our condition becomes 5 is less than 5 which is false and it will terminate our loop. So let's run this code. You can see the message while loop in C is printed 4 times. Let's see what's happening here. Initially the value of count is 1 so the condition count is less than 5 is true so the text while loop in C is printed on the screen. Now the value of count becomes 2 and again the condition is evaluated. This time as well the condition is true so again while loop in C is printed on, on the screen. Now the value of count is increased to 3. In this way the value of count keeps increasing in each iteration and after the fourth iteration the value of count becomes 5. This time this condition count less than 5 becomes 5 is less than 5 which is false. So the loop terminates and hence the text is printed 4 times. We can also print the count variable to see the subsequent increment of count variable. Let me show you. Here inside the loop I'll add print statement and I'll print the value of count. So count equals percent t comma count. And we need to add here backspace n so that it will be printed on the different lines. So let's run this code. As you can see, the value of count is increasing in each iteration. Now we know how the while loop works. Let's do something interesting. I'll create a multiplication table using the while loop. So I'll go to my code editor. As usual, you can see the basic structure of C program. Now I'll create a variable number. 
Now I'll ask the user to provide the input. So let's use printf statement and I'll enter the message, enter the number for the users. So, and then I'll store the input in the number variable. So I'll use scanf statement. Just like before, I'll create a count variable. So count and I will assign value one to this. I want to create a multiplication table up to 10 so I'll use while loop so while with a condition count is less than or equals to 10 so inside the while loop I'll multiply the number provided by the user so number is multiplied with the count and I'll assign this to a to an invariable let's say product then I'll print this product variable. So using printf statement, we'll print this. And finally, I'll increase the value of count by one. So count equals to count plus one. So before I run this, I'll add here backslash n so that the output will be more clear. So let's run this program and I want the multiplication of 8 so I'll enter 8 and you can see the multiplication of 8 is printed on the screen. Now let's see what's happening here. Inside loop I'm multiplying the number provided by the user to the value of count then we are printing the value of product and you can see the output on the screen and then the value of count is increased in each iteration. Initially, the value of count is equals to 1. When the number 8 is multiplied with the value of count 1, the output is 8. And in the second iteration, the value of count is equals to 2. So, 8 into 2 is equals to 16. In this way, the number is multiplied by the value up to 10. So, we get the multiplication up to 10. Here, I am printing only the product and to be honest it does not look like multiplication table so i want to print the exact multiplication table like 8 multiplied by 1 is equals to 8 and 8 multiplied by 2 is equals to 16 and so on now i'll modify my code so i'll do percent d into percent d equals to percent d that is number into count is equals to product here you can see I'm printing all these three variables with proper formatting now let me run this code and I'll enter it again as you can see the output looks better now now you can create multiplication table of any number okay guys we need your support to keep these types of content free for all users youtube really likes engagement on the video so leave a comment below press that like button hit subscribe if you haven't already let's get the engagement score high up so that more people can discover and enjoy these courses in c programming there is another version of while loop known as do while loop the working of do while loop is similar to that of while loop with one major difference before we learn more, let's start with the syntax of do while loop. The do while loop starts with the do keyword followed by the body of the loop and the while keyword with the condition inside the parenthesis and do not forget to put this semicolon at the end. Here the body of the loop is executed first and then the condition is evaluated. If the condition is evaluated to true, the body of the loop is executed again. This process continues until the condition becomes false and if the condition is false, then the loop terminates. Let's see an example. So I'll remove this old code and I'll start with the basic structure of C program. As you can see, this is the basic structure of C program. Now I'll create a count variable. So count variable and assign value 1 to this. Then I'll write a do block and I'll print the value of count here. 
so percent D and backspace N and count here I'll increase the value of count by one the count equals to count plus one now I'll use the while condition and I'll check if count is less than five now let's run this code as you can see the value of count is increased in each iteration when you compare a do while loop with a while loop you can see in the do while loop the code that is to be executed is kept inside the do block and the condition is checked this is why the code in do while loop is executed once even if the condition is false let me show you here i'll change the value of count from 1 to 5 now the condition is 5 less than 5 which is false so let me run this code here you can see we get 5 as output even after the condition is false from the beginning. This is because first the do block is executed which will print the value of count so we get 5 as output then the condition is checked which is false so the loop terminates. The do while loop is executed once no matter what. This is the major difference between the while and do while loop. Since the working of do while loop is similar to that of while loop, we can use it to print a multiplication table. Go ahead and print the multiplication table like before using a do while loop. Now to revise what we have learned, here is a programming task for you. Can you use the while loop to print the multiplication table for the given number, but this time you have to print the number from 10 to 1, so the output would be something like this. Try the program and comment your code below. You will find the answers to this question in our GitHub repository. And if you want to revise this concept, you can find this all program in there. I'll put the link in the video description. Now that we have reached the end of this video, it's time for programming quiz. Which of the following causes an infinite loop? Comment your answer below. See you in the next video. Happy programming.